What if I told you that the only thing standing between you and the life you've always dreamed of is you? Your thoughts, beliefs, and habits hold the key to unlocking your true potential. In this journey, you'll learn how to break free from the past, harness the power of your mind, and become the architect of your destiny. Are you ready to step into the best version of yourself? Did you know that those who truly love themselves tend to naturally draw love from others? Why? Because when you're at peace with yourself, you're not on the lookout for flaws in others. Instead, you gravitate toward what connects you, what brings you joy. It's all about forming genuine connections. Here's where the magic happens when you start each day with a bit of love and gratitude. You begin to rewire your inner world. Research supports this gratitude has a powerful effect on the body, even strengthening the immune system. Spending just 10 or 20 minutes a day genuinely feeling gratitude can lead to transformation. Why is this so impactful? Because gratitude is the ultimate state of receivership. Consider this when something wonderful occurs, that sense of gratitude signals to your body that something great is unfolding. Ending a meditation in gratitude convinces your body that the good thing has already happened. Your unconscious mind doesn't differentiate between a past memory and a future vision. When you feel grateful now, it perceives it as if you've already received what you desire. So what do you have to lose? At the very least, your immune system benefits. At best, you experience healing. Gratitude is more than a positive habit. It's a transformative force that can reshape your reality. Practicing gratitude shifts your perspective to one of abundance. This change in viewpoint is magnetic. It attracts positivity, opportunities, and even prosperity. Here's why gratitude shifts your focus. Instead of fixating on what's missing, it highlights what is already present and good in your life. This shift generates a cycle of positivity, lifting your mood, building resilience, and increasing your energy. The law of attraction says like attracts like. When you emit positive energy through gratitude, you're more likely to attract positive experiences and people. Additionally, gratitude makes you more open and receptive. When you appreciate what you have, you release resistance and start believing in a life where your desires come to you with ease. This mindset doesn't just hope for things to happen, it aligns you with the actions and attitudes that make them possible. You'll find doors opening, ideas flowing, and solutions appearing more readily. To embrace gratitude, start small. Each day, write down a few things you're thankful for. Over time, your list will grow, as will your ability to find joy in even the smallest blessings. Before you know it, gratitude will be second nature, and you'll live in a space of abundance where anything is possible. Too often, people wake up and dive into their routines, immediately replaying their problems. The brain instinctively revisits past challenges, each tied to specific memories, people, places, and events. The moment you think about your problems, you're living in the past. Each memory holds an emotional charge that pulls you back. Before you even step out of bed, you're already caught in that old familiar loop. Thoughts create feelings, and those feelings reinforce your thoughts. Negative thoughts signal the body to produce chemicals that make you feel unhappy. And so, the cycle goes on. Thoughts, emotions, chemistry, it's a loop. The stronger the emotion connected to an experience, the more it holds your attention and forms vivid, lasting memories. Every time you recall a painful memory, it triggers the same emotional response as if it's happening again. The body doesn't distinguish the difference, it's literal. So it stays stuck in the past, replaying those reactions. Over time, we condition our bodies to feel certain emotions, resentment, anxiety, unhappiness linked to those memories. These become subconscious patterns. Eventually, those emotions aren't just in your mind, they're stored in your body. This phenomenon, where the body acts as the mind keeps you stuck, consuming energy that could be used for growth and creativity, lost instead to a survival state. To break free, you must step out of this emotional loop. This means stepping into the unknown, leaving behind emotions that have defined you, and beginning to create something new. When someone says they can't feel joy or love, they're revealing that their body has become so conditioned to past emotions that they're trapped in survival mode. Stress hormones disrupt the brain and body, throwing them out of balance. If this cycle becomes a habit, imbalance becomes the norm, and emotional chaos takes over. But imagine a shift. What if, by practicing presence and truly being in the moment, you could stop replaying the past and fearing the future? This is where magic unfolds. The familiar past and predictable future are known, but the present moment is unknown the space where real change begins. When you train your body to feel safe and to trust, it relaxes and transcends all survival drives. That's when you enter the generous present moment, where life truly transforms. Now, you're ready to create and work from your heart. Start with a deep breath, 
letting love or gratitude flow in. At first, it may feel strange that's just the conditioning, the belief that we must wait for external change to feel joy. But here's the secret your body, being objective, doesn't know the difference between emotions generated within and those from actual experiences. When you start feeling gratitude and love, your body starts to believe that your future is already happening. Physically, you begin to shift, aligning with this new reality. The deeper you feel these emotions, the more clearly you bring your future vision into focus. It's like flipping a switch you stop replaying the past and begin remembering your future. In full presence, when you know what you want, you teach your body the emotional signature of that future. As you practice opening your heart, fascinating things start to happen. Frustration, impatience, and resentment fade, and your heart finds a rhythmic harmony. It sends a powerful, coherent signal to the brain, spreading like ripples on water. This rhythm changes your brainwave patterns, putting you in a creative state, often shifting to alpha waves where inspiration flourishes. In this state, the inner critic quiets the voice that doubts your worth. With your heart engaged and your vision alive, powerful chemicals like oxytocin are released in your brain and heart, leading to the production of nitric oxide and the magic of the endothelial-derived relaxing factor. Your heart becomes energized, pumping in perfect harmony. You feel truly alive and fully present. When cycles of negative emotions try to resurface, take a breath, close your eyes, and reconnect to the emotions of your future. By feeling these emotions before any physical event, you condition your body to this new reality. This is why we close our eyes in meditation. The external world is tempting, always pulling at us to act, move or react. But in that stillness, you remind your body who's in charge. You sit, you stay, and you don't leave meditation until your body knows the emotions of your future self. When old, unconscious thoughts arise and they will you meet them head on. You're prepared you know these thoughts well. You stay present and conscious. And that's where true transformation begins. Each morning, you suppress those old neural circuits that no longer serve who you're becoming. You start dismantling the old self, the one caught in yesterday. This is where the real work starts. Your body will want to move, check your phone, or make coffee, but you bring yourself back repeatedly. Each time you do, it's a small victory. You reclaim your willpower, breaking free from the autopilot habits that loop day after day. When your body protests during meditation, telling you to stop, you respond, no, I am in charge. Each time you choose presence over habit, you win. You train your body to live in the present, not bound by the familiar past. Many say, I can't meditate, but that struggle is proof they're on the right path. Each urge to quit and every pull to return to the old is an opportunity to take control. Your body may cling to old patterns, nudging you back to familiar stress, but each time you catch that pull and consciously choose a new response, you're reclaiming your power. With every choice to stay present, you tell your body it's no longer in control of your mind. This journey isn't easy at first. It pushes you beyond your comfort zone, drawing you into the unknown. But the more you embrace this space, the more empowered and at ease you become, ready for growth and self-creation. This is why a morning routine can be transformative. It reminds you of who you no longer wish to be and highlights the unconscious patterns that have influenced you. Meditation, which means becoming familiar with oneself, is the process of deeply knowing and recognizing these old habits so thoroughly that they can no longer control you. You step into the role of observer, disentangling yourself from past conditioning. Breaking free from these old programs isn't easy, which is why many avoid it. Reaching for a quick dopamine boost, like checking your phone may feel comforting, but it's only a short-term fix. The real work begins when you redirect your attention to the present and start actively shaping who you want to be. By focusing your thoughts and intentions, you install a new mental program that supports the future you envision. With repetition, as you fire these new thoughts over and over, they become hardwired, creating a new version of you that operates seamlessly. Here's how to begin a gratitude practice that makes a real difference start a daily gratitude journal. Each morning or evening, write down three things you're grateful for. They don't need to be grand, sometimes the small things, like a good meal or a meaningful conversation, are the most powerful. With each entry, you'll notice a shift in your perspective on life. Before long, you'll start finding joy in moments you once overlooked. Express appreciation out loud. Say thank you as often as possible, even for the smallest things. Whether it's gratitude for a loved one's gesture or the warmth of a sunny day, vocalizing your appreciation signals to the universe that you're open to abundance. This practice not only uplifts you but also spreads positivity to those around you, creating a ripple effect. Reframe challenges with gratitude. Life's challenges often hide valuable lessons. Instead of focusing solely on the obstacles, ask yourself what this experience might be teaching you. 
Did it make you stronger, more resilient, or more compassionate? This shift helps you recognize the silver linings in every experience, deepening your gratitude. Pause throughout your day to appreciate the beauty around you, the colors of the sky, the sound of laughter, the peace in a quiet moment. Practicing mindfulness enhances your awareness of life's blessings, naturally leading to more gratitude. Write letters of thanks. Choose someone who has made a positive impact on your life and write them a heartfelt letter. Even if you don't send it, the act of writing your appreciation has a powerful effect on your mindset. If you do send it, you're giving them a gift too. Imagine the fulfillment of spreading gratitude in such a meaningful way. Consider the placebo effect. Why can taking a sugar pill lead to real healing? It's because the individual surrenders to the belief that healing is occurring, prompting their body to generate the chemistry needed for change. The real power lies in the profound connection between the mind and body. For many, the placebo becomes a symbol of hope, shifting their mindset and opening new possibilities for healing. Studies show that believing in one's ability to heal can profoundly affect biology, as thoughts and emotions interact to change body chemistry and activate healing mechanisms. Repeated thoughts and feelings do more than shape your mood, they recalibrate your nervous system and body chemistry, sparking new biological responses, your genes, adjusting biological responses accordingly. Imagine if we harness this understanding without a placebo. By choosing to embrace the future before it arrives and embodying its possibilities, you could bring that vision into reality with intention and emotion, shifting your physiology in powerful ways. This journey goes beyond positive thinking. It's about creating an emotional and mental shift so powerful that your cells align with your new beliefs. Growth doesn't end there. After each breakthrough, ask yourself, what's the next belief that will take me further? Evolution means moving from one transformation to the next, seeking deeper understanding. Take, for example, a woman who endured years of hardship in a toxic relationship. Living in constant stress, her body adapted to survive, leading to sensitivities and allergies. After committing to deep inner work, she experienced a breakthrough. Freed from her past identity, she found herself eating food she once couldn't tolerate. This wasn't a temporary change, but a lasting shift. Once she reclaimed her health, she asked herself, if I can heal myself, can I help others heal too? growth unfolds this way, one belief at a time, continually expanding what's possible. Some turn to astrology or other external systems, believing their fate is influenced by outside forces. They find meaning in signs like numbers on a clock. But when a belief no longer serves them, they can choose to move beyond it, realizing the true power shaping their lives has been within them all along. I too confront my own beliefs, examining those that limit me. Growth often involves stepping into the unknown, daring to test new possibilities. The placebo effect is a glimpse into our potential to create change from within. It's not about passively waiting for transformation, it's about consciously crafting it. Through persistent thought and intention, we can trigger profound shifts in our biology and reality, showcasing the immense power of the mind-body connection. You hold the power to transform your life beyond what you can currently imagine. It's not about the world outside, it's about the world within. Your thoughts, beliefs, and emotions are the architects of your reality. How often have you let your surroundings dictate your actions? How many times have you told yourself, I can't do this because of X or I'll never achieve that because of Y? It's time to let go of those limiting beliefs. Your environment doesn't define you, you define your environment. It's not external circumstances but inner strength and vision that shape reality. You are not a victim of your surroundings. Every day you have the power to change them through your actions, choices, and mindset. Challenges are not barriers, they are stepping stones, opportunities to create a story of resilience and success. When you shift your perspective from merely reacting to actively creating, you become the architect of your destiny. Think of the most inspiring figures in history. They often came from the most unlikely places, overcoming adversity and defying the odds. Their secret, an unwavering belief in their ability to reshape their environment. They saw potential where others saw limits, they acted with purpose when others stood still. Remember, your environment is not a sentence, it's a canvas. Paint it with the bold colors of your dreams, the vibrant hues of your passions, and the rich textures of your perseverance. Every step you take against limitation, every small victory over circumstance, strengthens your power to shape your world. Embrace the belief that you are not confined by your surroundings. Instead, see yourself as a dynamic force capable of creating change through determination and courage. You can transform any environment to reflect your greatest aspirations. You define your environment. Let this belief fuel your journey and inspire you to build a life that not only surpasses obstacles, but also lights the way for others.
Now, let's talk about your brain. This incredible organ is constantly adapting, changing, and rewiring itself based on your thoughts and experiences. This process, known as neuroplasticity, is your superpower. Each time you learn or challenge yourself, you create new neural pathways, reshaping your brain. Here's the key point your brain can't tell the difference between what's happening in your external world and what you vividly imagine. This means you have the power to create new neural networks just by thinking differently, enabling you to overcome any obstacle and achieve any goal. So how do we harness this power and take control of our environment instead of letting it control us? It starts with awareness. Pay attention to your thoughts, reactions, and habits. Are they serving you? Are they moving you toward your goals? If not, it's time for a change. Next, break free from the cycle of your past. Your past experiences have shaped your current reality, but they don't have to dictate your future. You are not your past. You are not your habits. You are not your circumstances. You are a being of limitless potential capable of creating any reality you choose. Think about the quantum field for a moment. Quantum physics shows us that at the most fundamental level, everything is energy and information. Your thoughts, emotions, and beliefs are all forms of energy. And energy affects everything, even matter. This means your internal state is constantly interacting with and influencing your external reality. Your thoughts aren't just abstract ideas, they're real, tangible forces that shape your world. Every thought you have sends out a signal to the universe, and the universe responds in kind. So what signals are you sending out? Are you broadcasting fear, doubt, and limitation? Or confidence, possibility, and abundance? Remember, you have the choice. You might be thinking, but my life is difficult. My circumstances are tough. How can I change my thoughts when everything around me seems to be falling apart? I understand truly. But here's the truth, your circumstances don't create your thoughts, your thoughts create your circumstances. This doesn't mean ignoring the challenges in your life or pretending everything is perfect when it isn't. It means approaching those challenges from a place of power, not victimhood. Face them head on, knowing you have the strength to overcome them. Here's a secret the most successful people in the world, the ones who seem to have it all figured out, face challenges too. They encounter obstacles, setbacks, and failures. The difference is they don't let these things define them. They don't allow their environment to control their internal state. Instead, they maintain a clear vision of what they want, holding on to that vision no matter what's happening around them. They understand that their current reality is temporary, not permanent. So how do we hold on to our vision and maintain a positive mindset when the world feels against us? It begins with your morning routine. The moment you wake up, before checking your phone, take a few minutes to set your intention for the day. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and ask yourself, who do I want to be today? How do I want to feel? What do I want to feel? What do I want to accomplish? Visualize it. Feel it. Make it real in your mind. Remember, your brain can't distinguish between what's real and what you vividly imagine. Throughout your day, pay attention to your self-talk. Are you constantly criticizing yourself? Are you focused on what could go wrong? If so, change the narrative. Speak to yourself with kindness and encouragement. Treat yourself as you would a close friend. When you face challenges, instead of thinking, why is this happening to me? Ask, what can I learn from this? How can this make me stronger? Every obstacle is a chance for growth. Every setback sets you up for a comeback. Now, let's talk about your habits. Your daily routines shape your life more than you may realize. Take a hard look at your habits. Are they guiding you toward your goals? Are they supporting the person you want to become? If not, it's time for a change. Start small. Don't try to change everything at once. Pick one habit you want to adjust or one new habit you want to develop. Focus on that for 21 days. It's not just about repetition, it's about emotion. When creating a new habit, associate it with positive feelings. Feel good about it and celebrate your small victories. When you combine repetition with positive emotion, you're not just forming a habit, you're rewiring your brain. Let's discuss meditation. Some of you might be thinking, I don't have time for that, or I can't sit still that long, but meditation isn't about sitting cross-legged on a mountaintop for hours. It's about taking a few minutes each day to quiet your mind and step back from the chaos around you. When you meditate, you're training your brain to focus, learning to observe your thoughts without being swept away by them. Most importantly, you're creating space between stimulus and response. That space is where your power lies. It's where you get to choose how you react to your environment instead of reacting automatically. Now, let's address something important. You might be thinking, this all sounds nice, but my problems are real. I have bills to pay, responsibilities to meet. I can't just think my way out of my situation. I hear you, and you're right. Positive thinking alone won't magically solve all your problems. 
But here's the thing, your mindset determines how you approach those problems. It influences your actions, the opportunities you notice, and the solutions you find. When you approach challenges from a place of possibility rather than limitation, you open yourself up to new ideas, new strategies, new ways of thinking. Think of it this way, have you ever bought a new car and then suddenly noticed that same model everywhere? It's not that more of those cars appeared out of nowhere, it's that your brain is now tuned to notice them. The same principle applies to opportunities, solutions, and possibilities in your life. When you shift your mindset, you start to see things that were always there but were hidden behind your focus on problems. Now let's talk about your comfort zone. It's a cozy place, isn't it? It's safe, familiar, and, well, comfortable. But here's the truth, nothing extraordinary ever happens in your comfort zone. Growth happens when you push your boundaries, challenge yourself, and do things that scare you a bit. So I encourage you to do something that scares you every day. It doesn't have to be big, maybe it's speaking up in a meeting when you usually stay silent, trying out a new hobby you've always been curious about, or starting a conversation with a stranger. Whatever it is, do it. Each time you face something that scares you, you expand your comfort zone and show yourself that you're capable of more than you thought. You have far more potential than you realize. You have the power to change your life, not by altering your surroundings, but by transforming what's within you. Embrace your potential, challenge your limits, and watch as your world shifts before your eyes. Now, let's touch on a topic that's often avoided but incredibly important failure. Yes, failure. It's not an enjoyable topic, but here's the reality failure is not the opposite of success, it's a critical part of it. Every successful person you admire has faced failure, often more times than you can imagine. The difference is, they didn't let failure define them. Instead, they learned from it, grew stronger, and used those experiences as fuel to propel themselves forward. So, I urge you to change your perspective on failure. Don't see it as something to be avoided at all costs. See it as valuable feedback, as information that guides your path. When things don't go as planned, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I use this experience to improve and get closer to my goals? Remember, the path to success is rarely a straight line. It's filled with twists, turns, ups and downs. Every step of that journey matters. Every experience shapes you, teaches you, and prepares you for what's next. Now let's focus on relationships for a moment. The people you surround yourself with have a significant impact on your life. They influence your thoughts, beliefs, and habits. Take a good look at your social circle. Are these people supporting your growth and pushing you to be better, or are they holding you back? I'm not saying to cut people out of your life, but be intentional about who you spend your time with. Seek out those who inspire, motivate, and challenge you to be your best. And be that person for others, too. When you lift others up, you lift yourself up as well. Now let's talk about gratitude. It may sound cliche, but there's a reason why so many successful people practice gratitude daily. When you focus on what you're grateful for, you train your brain to notice the positive aspects of life. You shift your focus from what you lack to what you already have. But here's the key, don't just think about what you're grateful for, feel it. Really feel it. When you combine thought with emotion, you create a powerful signal that resonates throughout the universe. You change your brain chemistry, lift your mood, and open yourself up to more positive experiences. Some of you might be thinking, this all sounds great, but I've tried positive thinking before, and it didn't work, I hear you. Positive thinking alone isn't enough. You need to pair it with action. Think of it like this, if you want to get in shape, just thinking about exercising isn't going to do much. You need to actually hit the gym. The same principle applies here. Your thoughts are powerful, but they need to be backed up by action. So each day, take one small action that aligns with your goals. It doesn't have to be big. Maybe it's reading a chapter of a book that will help in your career, spending 15 minutes practicing a new skill, or making a phone call that could lead to an opportunity. Whatever it is, do it. Small actions add up over time. Let's talk about self-image. How do you see yourself? Are you constantly putting yourself down, focusing on your flaws and shortcomings? If so, it's time for a change. Here's the truth, you will never outperform your self-image. Start seeing yourself as the person you want to become. Visualize it, feel it. Make it real in your mind. Then start acting as if you are already that person. How would that version of you think? How would they act? What decisions would they make? Begin embodying that version of yourself now. You might think, isn't that fake? Isn't that pretending to be someone I'm not? Here's the thing, you're not pretending you're growing into that version of yourself. The more you act like the person you want to be, the more you naturally become that person. Let's talk about goals. 
Are they big enough? Do they excite you? Do they scare you a little? If not, it might be time to dream bigger. Your brain doesn't distinguish between a big goal and a small goal. It takes just as much mental energy to pursue a small goal as it does a big one. So why not aim for something extraordinary? But it's not just about setting big goals, it's about connecting with them emotionally. Feel the excitement of achieving them. Visualize them in vivid detail. When you pair a clear vision with strong emotion, you create a powerful force that draws your future toward you. Some of you might be thinking, but what if I fail? What if I put all this energy into my goals and it doesn't work out? Here's the thing you can't fail unless you quit. Every setback, every obstacle, and every failure is just feedback. It's information you can use to adjust your approach, improve, and get closer to your goals. Think of it this way when a rocket launches into space, it's off course 99% of the time. But it continually makes small adjustments, course correcting until it reaches its destination. The same principle applies to your life. You don't need to be perfect, you just need to keep moving forward, keep adjusting, and keep growing. Let's address your past. Many of us carry baggage from past experiences, letting failures, hurts, and disappointments define us. But here's the truth, your past does not equal your future. Just because something didn't work out before doesn't mean it won't work out now. Decide right now that from this moment forward, you will no longer be a victim of your past. You will not let your history dictate your destiny. Your past experiences don't define you, they prepare you. They've given you strength, resilience, and wisdom. Use that, but don't be limited by it. Now, let's talk about your daily routine, especially your morning routine. It's incredibly powerful and sets the tone for your entire day. Be intentional about how you start your day. Don't reach for your phone and start scrolling through social media. Don't turn on the news and let the world's problems flood your mind. Instead, take a few minutes for yourself. Meditate. Journal. Visualize your goals. Set your intentions for the day. Starting your day in a positive, purposeful state makes it more likely you'll maintain that state throughout the day. You'll be more prepared to respond to challenges constructively, rather than reacting on autopilot. Let's talk about self-talk. The way you speak to yourself has a profound impact on your life. Are you constantly criticizing yourself, focusing on what you did wrong or could have done differently? If so, it's time for a change. Start speaking to yourself with kindness and encouragement. Treat yourself the way you would treat a dear friend. Here's the truth you're going to be with yourself for the rest of your life. You might as well be good company. Some might think, isn't self-criticism important? Don't I need to be hard on myself to improve? There's a difference between self-reflection and self-criticism. Self-reflection helps you grow, self-criticism tears you down. Instead of beating yourself up over mistakes, ask, what can I learn from this? How can I use this experience to get better? Approach your shortcomings with curiosity instead of judgment. Doing so opens you up to growth, improvement, and becoming the best version of yourself. Now, let's discuss your energy. Everything is energy, your thoughts, emotions, and actions. They emit a certain frequency that attracts matching experiences. If you're constantly emitting a frequency of lack, fear, or limitation, guess what kind of experiences you'll attract? The good news is, you have the power to change your energy at any moment. You can shift your frequency and start attracting new experiences, opportunities, and people into your life. How do you do this? It starts with awareness. Pay attention to how you feel throughout the day. Notice when your energy dips, when stress, anxiety, or frustration start to creep in. Then make a conscious choice to shift your energy. This could be through deep breathing, visualization, or physical movement. Find what works for you and make it a priority to maintain a high energy state throughout the day. Let's talk about beliefs. Your beliefs shape your reality more than you may realize. Your brain constantly seeks evidence to support your beliefs. If you believe life is hard, your brain will find ample evidence to confirm that belief. If you believe opportunities are everywhere, your brain will find evidence of that too. Take a close look at your beliefs. Are they serving you? Are they helping you move toward your goals? If not, it's time for a change. You have the power to change your beliefs at any moment. You can choose what you believe about yourself, the world, and what's possible for you. Some of you might think, but my beliefs are based on my experiences. How can I change them? Your experiences don't create your beliefs, your beliefs create your experiences. They shape how you interpret events, respond to situations, and notice opportunities. To change your beliefs, start with awareness. Notice when you're holding on to a limiting belief. Question it, challenge it. Ask, is this really true, or is it just something I've believed for so long that I've accepted it as fact? Then, choose a new belief one that serves you, empowers you, and aligns with your goals. 
Act as if this new belief is already true, and you'll start creating evidence to support it, reshaping your reality. Finally, let's talk about focus. What you focus on expands. If you're constantly focused on what's wrong in your life, what you lack, and what's not working, you'll see more of that. You'll attract more of those negative experiences. But if you shift your focus to what's good, what's working, and what you're grateful for, you'll see more of that too. You'll attract more positive experiences and opportunities. Make a conscious decision today, decide that from now on, you will focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Focus on solutions, not problems. Focus on possibilities, not limitations. Some of you might be thinking, but I have real problems, I can't just ignore them. You're right. You shouldn't ignore your challenges. What I'm saying is to approach them from a different perspective. Instead of dwelling on the problem, focus on finding solutions. Instead of asking, why is this happening to me? Ask, how can I use this situation to grow, to learn, to become stronger? Your daily habits are powerful. They shape your life more than you might think. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act but a habit. Take a hard look at your habits. Are they moving you toward your goals? Are they supporting the person you want to become? If not, it's time for a change. You have the power to change your habits at any moment. You can choose habits that support your growth and move you toward your goals. Changing habits can be challenging, but here's a secret you don't have to change everything overnight. Start small. Pick one habit to change or one new habit to develop. Focus on that for 21 days. They say it takes 21 days to form a new habit, but it's not just about repetition, it's about emotion. When forming a new habit, associate it with a positive feeling. Celebrate your small victories. When you combine repetition with emotion, you're not just creating a habit, you're rewiring your brain. Your environment impacts your mental state, productivity, and well-being. Take a look at your environment. Is it supporting your goals? Is it inspiring you? Is it helping you become who you want to be? If not, it's time for a change. You have more control over your environment than you might think. You can choose what surrounds you and what you expose yourself to. Create an environment that supports your growth, inspires you, and reminds you of your goals and potential. While you can't control everything in your environment, you can control your responses and how you interpret your surroundings. By making intentional choices about your environment, habits, beliefs, and focus, you can create a life that meets your aspirations and inspires others. Let's embrace this journey of growth together. Let's learn from failure, cherish relationships, practice gratitude, take consistent action, nurture a positive self-image, set big goals, and focus on what truly matters. Every step, no matter how small, brings you closer to the best version of yourself. Move forward with intention, passion, and purpose, knowing you're capable of extraordinary things. Life may feel like a series of uncontrollable events, but the truth is, you have more power than you realize. While you may not control your external environment, you always have the power to transform your inner world, your thoughts, attitudes, and responses. Think about the power of your responses. Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you respond. You can't control everything that life throws at you, but you can always choose your response. This choice is powerful because it shapes your experience, determines your outcomes, and fuels your growth. Start paying close attention to how you respond to challenges, setbacks, and unexpected events. Are your responses moving you toward your goals? Are they fostering growth? Are they aligned with who you want to become? If not, it's time for a change. Here's the best you part, pause, you can change your responses back, at and choose a response that serves you, moves you forward, and aligns with your highest self. Do you have a clear vision for your life? Do you know where you're heading, what you want to achieve, and who you want to achieve, and who you want to become? Without a clear vision, you're like a ship without a destination moving, but not really going anywhere. Take time to think about what you truly desire. Not what others expect or what society tells you to want, but what you genuinely want, what makes your heart sing. What makes you leap out of bed, excited to start your day? Once you have that vision, make it vivid. See it, feel it, and make it real in your mind. A compelling vision acts like a magnet, pulling you toward it. Some may think, but what if my vision seems impossible? What if it's too big if your vision doesn't scare you a little? It's probably not big enough. Dream big. It takes as much energy to pursue a small dream as it does a big one, so why not aim for something extraordinary? Who do you think you are? This question might sound simple, but it's powerful. You will always act in alignment with your identity, making decisions that are consistent with who you believe you are. If you want to change your life and achieve your goals, start by changing your identity. See yourself as the person who can achieve those goals and live that life. The beautiful part is that you can choose your identity. Decide who you want to be. 
Start thinking of yourself not as who you've been, but as who you're becoming. How would they think, act, and make decisions? Your mindset is like your brain's operating system. It determines how you interpret events, respond to challenges, and see opportunities. The good news? You have the power to choose your mindset. Embrace a growth mindset, where challenges are seen as opportunities to learn and grow and abilities are developed through dedication and hard work. Persist through setbacks, view effort as the path to mastery, learn from criticism and find inspiration in others' successes. A growth mindset builds resilience and achievement. Do you know why you're here? What you're meant to contribute to the world? Connecting to your purpose changes everything. You gain energy, motivation, and resilience. You can push through challenges because you know why you're doing what you're doing. Your purpose doesn't need to be grand, it just needs to be meaningful to you. What are you passionate about? What feels natural? What makes you lose track of time? What problems do you want to solve? Your potential is immense, far beyond what most people realize. But you're not most people, you're committed to growth. Push yourself out of your comfort zone. Learn, grow, and challenge yourself daily. Your choices shape your life. Be intentional about them. Your life is the sum of your choices, and you have the power to make different choices at any moment. What are your standards? You don't get what you want, you get what you expect and believe you deserve. Raise your standards, expect the best, and never settle for less. Excellence isn't being hard on yourself, it's loving yourself enough to demand your best. What you focus on expands. Choose to focus on what you want, not what you don't. Focus on solutions and possibilities. Your thoughts, emotions, and actions emit energy that attracts like experiences. Pay attention to your energy and shift it consciously. Examine your beliefs. Are they helping you or holding you back? Change them if they're not serving you. You're not a victim of your environment, you're its creator. Shape your reality, create the life you want, and unleash your power. It's always been within you. Now it's time to use it.